What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ill Will from over at AudioHacks.net and today I'm going to show you how to set up the transport keys on your Axiom 25 for Logic Pro X 10.0.6. So um, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. I know a lot of times um, as when I got it, I plugged it in and all of my keys worked, my pads worked, my pitch, modulation, things like that worked fine, but my transport didn't work. So I'm here to show you how this works. It's really simple, really easy, so let's jump right into it. All right, so first things first, what we're gonna do is come over here. We want to click on Logic Pro X, come down to key commands, come over, hit edit. All right, so this is going to bring up this prompt, this little box right here. All right, well, we're, what we want to do is pretty simple. Your global commands is where all your transport keys are going to be. So we click it and bring it down. Well, we got record right here, but we have no assignments for it. So pretty easy to do. Um, play has no assignments. Pause, none. Stop. Play stop has none. So what we're going to do is pretty simple um, just click on it come down here you want to click on learn new assignment now go to your axiom and hit the stop key there it is it just learned it pretty simple pretty easy so uh, let's do that for the rewind learn new assignment hit the rewind key there you go let's go to the Ford which is really easy learn new assignment or key um, See, let's assign a play key. Learn new assignment, hit the play key. All right, so that was pretty easy. Didn't take much. All you had to do was click and assign. Now the record key, let's see. Make sure I don't over record over top of anything I already have. So bring the window back up, hit record. Learn new assignment, hit the record key. All right, that's pretty easy, pretty simple. It's not hard to do. Um, for your cycle key, what you'll have to do is search for it. So um, type in cycle, and it'll pop up. Now you want to go to cycle mode and assign that to your cycle key. Same process. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Oh, let me undo that where I've over recorded my track. Uh, edit, undo cycle. Cool. All right, so um, another neat little trick of signing stuff is uh, assigning different fader knobs and keys and pads, things like that, to your plugins you're using. So let's bring up the uh, Jack Joseph plugin, which I'm using right here. Uh, this is part of the Waze bundle. Um, say I want to control the lows. So right now I have to move my, click and move my mouse up and down. So what we do is we come to Logic, Control Surface, Learn New Assignment for Lows. Um, whatever you click on, it'll be learning that assignment. So I have the lows selected. Grab the fader I want. There it is. I just learned it. So turn that learn mode off. Reassign. All right, so now you see my lows are controlled by my fader. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Pretty easy. Um, that's about it. Make sure to turn the learn mode off every time you learn one like this. Uh, if you don't, it will uh, keep learning every MIDI key you twist after that for that one assignment. So make sure to do that. And <clears throat> that's about it for today. Um, Y'all have any questions, comments, leave it all below. Um, I will leave a link to the site in the description. Y'all go join the audiohacks.net forum and talk audio. Um, engineers, producers, artists, all y'all invited. Come on over there. If you got some questions, ask us and we'll try to help you with it. All right. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. Bye.